Today I will show you how to make the slow shower effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip from one and only Stardust music video and here he's just chilling with a car. And the most important part about this clip is that there's still some movement here. If your clip has just tiny little bit of movement, this effect might not look the best, but honestly, I might retract it from that. It might actually look even better sometimes. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, wait, wait. let's just make the effect. Okay, so the first thing we can do is press Ctrl to Y to make a new adjustment layer. And now we can add an effect that is super optional. You don't need to add this. If you don't have this plugin, it's S Shake. Now I will show you later on why I add this, but pretty much, the summary is I want more movement and this just gives you movement and I actually like to turn on the motion blur here and you can keep the amplitude at 1 but I like to make it to 0 0.5 that's it I just want movement but you really don't need to have this effect if you just don't care I guess and now let's add an actually important effect I mean super important effect which is echo now this is pretty much like the slow shower effect main effect you know the slow shower effect and here I like to make that number of echoes like really high to like 10 but i sometimes like to make it to even like 15 like it this is a really important effect here and you could just mess around a lot and a really fun thing i like to do is i like to make the echo like 17 point i guess like 15 like very random like just make it as high as you can okay not as high as you can but you know like really high and i like to make the echo operator to maximum and you will already have like this crazy look i mean okay so this works amazing for a transition so look how it was before like it would just be like these two clips just like that like super simple but you have this effect you already get this crazy transition just like that so i already love just what that does but we can keep going so now i like to add this effect called minimax this is definitely one of my favorite effects and here i'm going to make the radius to five although you can make it higher or lower depends on what you want it just kind of like extends this blurry glow I just really love this blurry glow and yeah you can see this in a lot of like really professional music videos that's why I would call this like a music video effect more so because this is for music videos usually but you can use it in edits or anything else you know of course and another effect I like to add here but this is not needed but I just like how like it looks it's deep glow or deep glow 2 so I'll actually add deep glow 2 but deep glow will look pretty much the same and I like to make the radius here 250 now this is a plugin so you do need to have this plugin but you can also use the first version which is also actually a paid plugin so yeah sorry about this one i like to make the exposure to 0 0.1 but this effect doesn't do like a huge effect like look before and after it's like not that much you could have just added normal glow and just mess around with the settings there as well so yeah you don't need this effect but i love how it looks it looks super professional i think and the last effect i like to add here which i believe is super important here it's posterize time now thankfully this does not require any plugins now okay look look at here i am using a frame rate of 24 fps so i will make this to three times slower now you can also make it to four times slower which will look amazing as well but i like it to three times slower and if you were using let's say 30 fps you would need to make this to 10 frame rate because that would be three times slower but here i'll make it to eight because 24 divided by three is eight so i'll make it three times slower and you will have this insane effect like look when i add this effect it does madness like it just looks crazy like this does not have much movement but it looks super cool and it's like such a cool transition to have you can also have not much movement here but if you have like almost zero effect like almost like a still picture this might not look the best i'm not gonna lie i also have another slow share tutorial on the channel which is made for a bit different uses so you can check that one out a lot of you guys liked it so i thought i would make uh, another one but yeah guys uh, that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya